In this video today, I'm going to show you the feature of UB Cloud Pack video streaming plugin. This plugin allows you to load test video streaming servers who deliver different formats like Apple HTTP Live, also called HLS, MPEG Dash, Microsoft Smooth, or Adobe HDS streaming. Uh, the first thing you need to do is install a GDK. It can be a GDK 11 or a GDK 8. You then need to install a Gmeter 5.0 as of uh, today, which is uh, the last version available. So you can get it by clicking on download releases here and you download this zip. You unfold the zip and the last step is to request a demo uh, a trial from UB Cloud Pack by clicking this button or this uh, this link and you fill in, you select uh, video streaming plugin, you fill in your mail, you confirm your mail, your first name, last name, company name, you give us more details about your request if you want, you check this box, this one, and you click this button uh, if you're within our time zone, we are uh, located in, around Paris, then you will receive the trial mail within a few seconds. If you're in a different time zone, you may have to wait a bit. Anyway, once you receive it, it, it comes from UB Cloud Pack. Check your spam folder if you don't get it. So this mail contains all the details to download the trial and it contains also the license file which is a trial license file, so you need to download it. You click on this link to download the bundle. And this link is protected by user password, which are here. Okay, so I've clicked on this link and I get the bundle. The bundle is composed of a documentation and only one jar that you need to copy into your Gmeter folder. So here I have copied it in libx folder. As you can see, my Gmeter is here and it's located here. So the next step is to start Gmeter. The plugin will ask you for the license pass. So I will fill in the license pass. I could also search it like this. And it, it, it requires a restart of Gmeter. <coughs> so Gmeter is ready and the you can uh, now start playing with our plugin. So the first thing you, knew, you need to do is add a thread group. A thread group is a set of users, uh, of virtual users that will be, you will be simulating. For example, if you want to simulate 100 players, you would do this. You can select the ramp up, which is the time it takes to go from zero to 100 players. You would be, uh, those players would be repeating their loops and you can schedule your load test to run for, uh, for example, 10 minutes with a little startup delay. The second thing to do is to add our streaming sampler like this and you're ready with this to run a load test. So what do you need to fill in to, in the video streaming sampler? Well the first thing you need to add is your playlist URL. It can be, as you can see here, it can be HLS for H Apple HTTP live streaming, MPEG Dash, Smooth or HDS. So uh, this is, I've, I've already started, meanwhile, uh, a little test. So here I, I can show you some URL that have been entered. So for example, here I'm using a demo URL by Bitmovin, which is MPEG Dash. So when, when the format is standard one, the plugin automatically detects that it's MPEG Dash and you don't need to, to configure it particularly. If your URL patterns are a bit, uh, are custom ones, then you can uh, set the, the type of the stream. You can, uh, of course, with our solution, 
load test VOD or live streams. You can test the four formats I've mentioned. So uh, one of the feature here allows you to show the playlists that are available for one URL. So here you can see the different bandwidths available. And you can select the bandwidths that you want to play. Either if you select automatically, then the plugin will try to use the highest one or manually if you want to uh, load test different bit rates so you can use what this list shows to fill in the available bandwidths and the plugin will automatically select the correct URL for the bandwidths. As you can also see here you can play either the entire video for li a live stream it would loop uh, in it will uh, play it infin infinitely uh, if it's VOD it will play the whole duration but you can of course select to only play a part of the video for example uh, you might have a video where people will be returning will be just looking for a few seconds and quitting so you can simulate it like this and of course you can vary the different population by using a component of Gmeter called throughput controller for example, in, in this case here, I would be 5% of my population would be running smooth format, 30% would be running MPEG Dash, and 65% would be running HLS streams. Uh, the plugin uh, simulates very realistically uh, how a playlist, uh, a video is, is played. Uh, for example, uh, here we can see what the plugin automatically does. So the first thing it downloads the manifest and it, it will then request the, the chunks. So here we, you can see the request for the initial chunk. Of course the plugin handles audio and video. So here you can see it has downloaded the audio and the video, which is what a player, a real player would do. And as you have seen, you have nothing to do. The plugin does everything automatically. Then it downloads each chunk on a regular uh, basis and uh, respecting what uh, the format requires in terms of uh, chunk request frequency. And to, to be efficient in terms of memory, the plugin does not download the content of the chunk, which, which we don't use but it computes the, the size in bytes and the, the time it took to download the chunk. If you take some stream like live streams, you will see that the plugin, uh, of course, downloads the main manifest, the child, children manifests, and, and then the chunks, audio, also same audio and video. But more than this, it will, on a regular basis, Request also the manifest. So here, for example, you see that it requests. So here it's a manifest. It requests this, the audio manifest, the video manifest. Again, the audio manifest, the video manifest, and it respects the delay which is in the in the in the manifest. For example, here I have a manifest with six second delay and as you can see it has requested it first time here at 49 and the second time it requests it at 55 which is what the which is the requirement of the formats another very interesting thing you can do as i uh, is to play different different bit rates for example uh, here you can use a standard component of gmeter which is a CSV dataset config. I have put in a bitrate CSV here the set of bitrates I want to test. Here, each row each row contains one bitrate, which is mapped to a variable called bitrate. Here, I ignore the first line because it's the title of the column. And uh, using this component, at each iteration, I get I will get a different row. And I can use this bitrate here, but using dollar uh, this syntax to request different bitrates. 
And this is what the plugin will do. If we look at the summary here, you can see that it has requested the, the bitrate, the first bitrate, the second bitrate, the, the fourth, etc. Of course, in this case here, I have I have built my test, and the next step would be to increase the number of threads for my target, select a duration, and run the load test in non-QE mode. Once you have done this, the plugin will, will provide custom metrics that are graphed within Gmeter standard um, uh, report, but the, our plugin adds custom graphs of which provides average chunk response time, average manifest response time across time, buffer fill in milliseconds across time, lag ratio, and lag time. All those metrics allow you to analyze your load test. In my case here, I have run a load test with 250 threads for uh, something like uh, 10, 10 minutes. And I can also see the error rate. In my case here, uh, it was I had no error. But with all these metrics, you can analyze your load test very accurately and improve the performances. So this was a, a presentation of the features of our plugin, which has many other uh, more F precise features like uh, using the sync, uh, the synchronization uh, of UTC time uh, from MPEG dash, uh, applying audio video, uh, and a lot of hit more uh, precise feature that I will present in future videos. So I hope you enjoyed this demo and. Uh, you can request, as I said, a trial version by going at our website. Uh, in a future video, I will show how to see live uh, metrics while you're doing a load test using a Taurus uh, tool, which, uh, is, uh, which allow you to describe a load test through code, uh, which is a very nice feature, and use the cloud to deploy your test. Goodbye.